Hey guys, it's Lexi. I'm sorry it's been so long since I posted a makeup tutorial video. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am taking my OT cert exam very soon. So I have just been studying like crazy for that and getting ready for that test. I'm actually down here in Bismarck now trying to kind of hide out and zen and get in the right frame of mind for the test. However, I couldn't resist going to Ulta Beauty, which is in Bismarck now. And picking up some new makeup products. Today I went ahead and picked up the new NYX Cosmetic Lip Lingerie um, Liquid to Matte Lipsticks. Which I have on my lips now. On the top lip I have Bedroom Flirt. And on the bottom lip I have the shade Push Up. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to apply a liquid lipstick. As well as how to prepare your lips for wearing a liquid lipstick. So if you are interested in either of those two things go ahead and keep watching and I'll see okay. you soon. So the first step to this process is exfoliating your lips and I just kind of made my own little homemade lip scrub I took some sugar on a paper plate and added some olive oil and kind of moved it around till I got a gritty, nice gritty consistency and then you're just going to spread that on your lips and you're going to scrub it around oh I would say 20 seconds 30 seconds maybe just kind of making sure you get up on the top and the bottom and always make sure you're getting this kind of inner crease we have on our lip where it almost goes into our mouth I tend to have a lot more dead skin there, and I feel like it's an area that gets forgotten a lot. Once you've exfoliated, go ahead and feel your lips. You shouldn't feel any like catches or anything like that, and if you do, go ahead and do it again. So the next step is concealing the lips. And uh, you can kind of see I've already done that. They look kind of washed out right now. But I used Ulta, my new Ulta concealer in the shade Light and Cool for my pale January self. Um, when I'm putting this on, I'm focused on blending the edges of the lip into the rest of the face. Because if we're going to recreate the shape of the lip or um, have better control of our line, it's going to be easier if the color of the lip isn't showing on the outside of the liquid lipstick. So we use this concealer to help blend it in with the rest of the face. After you put the concealer on, if you feel like you have like a halo around your lips or it feels kind of like it's really bright in that area, you can use your damp beauty blender. And just kind of dab on that that step and blended it in we are going to start applying the liquid lipstick um I don't have any of my lip liners with me however if you are going to use a liquid lipstick I would highly recommend lining your lips first especially if you're new to using it it just helps you be able to control where you're putting the product makes it a lot easier to apply I don't have any of mine with me so I'm going to go without it the first color I'm going to be putting on is push up it's called push up which I totally get it lingerie push up hardy hard good one good one so the push up is gonna go on my bottom lip so whenever I apply a liquid lipstick I like to start in the middle and then I just heard the door open Mm, that's killer killer and then work my way out to the edges next this color is called bedtime flirt kind of want to take a minute to talk about these applicators they're really different the Jeffree star ones are like a doe foot applicator and this is like a flat but I kind of dig it it's like really easy to get a really pristine line I want to do my top lip, make my little cross. Zoom out to the edges. And down to the corners. So as you can see, they are just a pinch different. Um, the bedroom flirt on top has a little bit more like maybe a pink undertone maybe and the bottom one is more of like a true nude it's kind of kind of like my lips but better but you can kind of see the difference the lines look clean the edges look clean and I will say when I first put this on before I put any concealer it was the color of the edges of my lips was really noticeable and I don't know why I hadn't exfoliated yet 
but that's just how it showed up on my lips I don't know if my lips were too pink for these nudes or too peach I don't know but once I put the concealer on it seriously made all the difference and I love the way they look now so go ahead and like my video thumbs up me if you loved it if you have any questions about the NYX cosmetics lingerie or anything like that you just let me know and I will answer them and any suggestions for next week's video dangerous if you're one of us then roll with us because we make the hipsters fall in love when we got our hot pants on and up and yes of course we does we run in this town just like a club and no you don't want to mess with us got jesus on my necklace